I guess, first of all, man, tell me uh, as far as what's really changed with Ray King since uh, three years ago, man. I know um, we, uh, it's been a minute, bro. It's been almost three years since the yeah. since you did Young God, and then uh, I know Black Friday did really well. Yeah. Um, why the pause, man? I guess that would be the best question to ask. I know you were doing a lot of things, mm -hmm. working with different people. You featured on a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, man. But uh, what... What's changed and why wait so long to bring something else out? Um, man, it's, it's so many, I guess there's so many ways that I can attack that question, but I, I, I'll answer it with what I now know, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason, the reason, what, what I know now, the reason for the pause was because my music has to be lived. And there's a lot of like, sometimes, you know, God gave me pieces of the puzzle and throughout these years he's been giving me pieces and pieces and this. He'll give me a beat, but won't give me the words, you feel me? Or he'll give me a concept, but he won't give me the, you know what I mean? So throughout the years, um, you know what I mean? The reason why it had, it had to happen that way is because I actually had to live the songs, you know what I'm saying? And like certain things that I had a beat for two, three years ago, you know what I'm saying? Is now that the life came, so. It was crazy, man, and I mean, I, I've learned a lot. I've, as a producer, throughout these years, working with the amount of artists that I've worked with, I wouldn't be able to. I can't learn that. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody can't teach me that. So I needed those three years of experience dealing with artists, dealing with singers. You know what I mean? Like people's like, wow, like your, your singing got way better, or like your harmonies and this and that. I was like, well, I I recorded the best of the best singers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I had to pick up on something, man. And, the same thing with producers, man. Working with these dudes, I learned a lot. So it was a necess it was like a necessary uh, pause. You know what I'm saying? You would say it's a growth process, right? In general. Definitely, definitely. There were songs that I had back then that are now executed. You know what I mean? The way that they needed to be executed. You know what I'm saying? I I, I didn't have the skill level to execute the the actual song ideas, even though I had the ideas years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like. Some of that 80 stuff and all that, most of them songs came around the same time, which was tw uh, 2010. So where are those songs are, uh, Love You, that was 2010. Stay Here, 2010. A lot of them joints, old. So it's like, you know what I mean? I didn't have the skill level at the time to execute it. So now it's like, okay, I learned, you know what I'm saying? As far as the, the overall feel of the project, the Love Hate demo, um, um, was, it, was it something you know how artists usually do music and they go through phases of things they want to reach Word. and things i guess when you did young god there was a vision behind it and yes. there was a, fo a focus and then i guess you, i remember having conversations you would tell me you know dog this is just the beginning like it's old stuff i'm really trying to feel mm -hmm. and get and develop a new sound uh do you really think or how do you feel about the love hate demo is it show another hooray or another uh, arsenal of what it is you bring it's a different portfolio of sound of what you bring to it or what would you say about the love hate demo um definitely i think the love hate demo is a project that literally stands alone like on this planet i've never heard nobody else's pro i never heard no music like it you know what i'm saying like i know what influenced me to make it you know what i'm saying but as a combination i haven't heard nothing like it so i think that honestly i think the love hate demo is going to be another five year you know what I'm saying? Situation like people are gonna still listen to it two, three, four, eight years from now and be like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I definitely have that confidence in that one for sure. It, it's it's funny you say that, man, because yesterday I was having a conversation with someone and uh, he was we were talking about listening to Young God, how it's still relevant to this time. You can listen to it like there's other artists you can hear and you'll just pick out one or two songs that were your favorite. But for some reason, when we hear uh, Young God, or, or some people try to deny it, but they, they still listen to it, they like it, it's a different sound. And uh, that's always, I guess, been the focus for you to do music that can stand the test of time and not just be for a season where it's just a cool thing to listen to. That's trends, man. And I, I don't rock with trends, you feel me? I mean, they're fun and stuff like that, but I don't, that's not what I gravitate towards, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might see some people doing a few things and it's like, okay, everybody wants to do that. Like, you know, turn up. Everybody's on turn up, turn up. Like, if you listen to my street music, I've been turning up. Like, I've been on that trap stuff before 
know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm not into the trends thing, so it's not like, oh, you know, this is where it's at, so that's what I gotta do. Like, nah, I don't think that lasts, you know what I'm saying? And people that make music like that, they won't last. They might pop off, but they won't stay there, you feel me? And, and I think that with me and as, I, as I've been maturing and, and learning actually about the music business, a lot of people only focus on the talent, you feel me? Oh my God, yo, I'm raw, I, I can spit, I can do this, I can do that. But if your, your business ain't right, you feel me, ain't gonna go nowhere. So I had to kind of focus on that and learn, you know what I'm saying, how to put a project together that will actually last, you know what I'm saying? And, and will actually pass time, timeless music, you know what I mean? And honestly, like, and I, I don't say it in a boastful way, but I, I listen to like Young God once a year or something like that, or Black Friday once a year, once every two years. I just throw that smoke on whether I'm in the gym doing something. And dog, I'm impressed. Like I get impressed, you know what I'm saying? Because I hear it and I'm like, wow, like it's been years. Like no wonder people like it, you know what I'm saying? It's five years and it's still riding. Like I, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. Yo, can you just break down um, like the concept behind the actual the Love Hate Demo title? And also, also how the Ark of the Covenant sort, sort of plays into effect um, into the whole project concept. Definitely, man. Um, the the actual title, the Love Hate Demos, um, it stems from my relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? I believe that just like any relationship, you know what I mean? Whether it's you know you from homeboys or brothers and sisters to you know husband and wife. I think every relationship, business partners, every relationship, I believe, is always bittersweet. It's always love, hate. It's always um, compromise. I believe that when you actually love something the most, that's when that's what can hurt you the most. You know what I'm saying? People that I don't love can't hurt me because I don't even care. Like you know what I mean? So they can't hurt me. But the ones when, when I'm actually, you know what I mean, vulnerable. To, to you, you know what I'm saying? Like that that can destroy me, you know what I'm saying? So the love hate um thing just came off my re relationship, personal relationship with God and you know what I mean throughout the years personal relationships with others too. So it's like a triangle thing going on between me and him and then me and uh, you know others or whatever and uh that's kind of where that whole uh is just embodying that, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the songs are different topics because just like any life or any relationship, I believe there's different aspects, you know what I'm saying? If you're a married couple, there's different scenarios that that marriage is gonna have to be tested in, you know what I'm saying? How you are in public, how you are in private, how you are here, how you're there, like everything is, it's not just one topic, it's many different topics and how do you, you know, how does your, that relationship stand? So the Love Hate Demo is like that, there's a lot of ups and downs but it's all about the same relationship, you know what I'm saying? And that's basically love, hate. And then what happens with the Ark of the Covenant is that if you know, you know, some of the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant was known to be what held God's essence. Um, one, they held the, you know, the Ten Commandments and all that. But two, it, it, it's been written that God Himself, like His essence, was in the Ark of the Covenant. And I believe now, like in this generation, that we're manifesting a new covenant, you know what I'm saying? And you know, if you read the New, the new Testament, it talks about the new covenant. So I believe that um, these songs hold the essence of God because it's a relate. I'm talking directly to him. A lot of people don't get that. A lot of people hear the music, they're like, well, you're talking about a female. No, I'm not. I'm actually talking to God directly. That's why I say you did this or, you know what I mean? I'm infatuated with the thought of us. When you created perfection, you must have thought of us. Like, I'm talking to him. I'm not talking about him. So it's the actual essence of our relationship, our lifestyle. It's in every single song. From the bitter, from the good, from the sun come down and we're happy to the fell in love. Where it's like, I'm alone again. You feel me? And so it's like those essence and... I believe that the Ark of the Covenant, that symbol, is gonna, it, it's, it's gonna, it's what holds that essence together. So I believe that when you actually listen to the Love Hate demo, it's like I'm giving it to you in a gift like the Ark of the Covenant, you know what I'm saying? Because it is a new covenant that I'm speaking about as well.